Hello, it's David from David Savory Electrical and today I'm talking about the LTEC DX8 RGB controller which I've used on a project recently for some RGB lighting control in my own home. Now these seem to come under some different brand names out on the interweb there but LTEC seems to be a common one. Uh, mine is known as an LL Touch DX8 from Ledridge based in Leicester but uh, they all seem to be the, be the same sort of thing uh, churned out by some factory in China somewhere I'm sure. So we're going to have a look at how it works today. My living room RGB lighting project is the subject of a separate YouTube video so I won't go into uh, detail about that one here. Suffice to say I've now extended it out so I have it uh, in a separate zone in the kitchen and a custom lighting panel fitted in there and also out into the dining room where I have a suspended frame ceiling with um, opaque acrylic panels and the lights mounted behind for it to quite a nice effect and I can change the colours of those lights there are two zones set out there which allow me to alter the colours for different ambient lighting effects uh, accordingly so let's have a look at how I do that. This is what the controller looks like it's uh, split into four zones uh, so for me zone one is the living room uh, zone two is also in the living room and dining room zone three is the dining room and zone four is the kitchen and I can select which zone I want to uh, alter obviously by pushing the uh, appropriate button or I can multiple select zones if I want them all to be the same. You can also see there's a colour wheel there. This is a nice sort of glass fronted flat panel kind of like a, a touch sensitive iPod uh, control so there's no mechanical moving parts here. You just whiz your finger around that colour wheel to select the colour that you want. You'll also notice there's a mode button to set different programming modes which we'll look at shortly. There's a speed stroke brightness button which will either affect the speed of the program or the brightness of the light depending on what uh, is selected. And finally at the bottom we have red, green, blue and white buttons. Buttons. Uh, we'll have a close look at what they do as well. Now I, this particular installation uses RGB strip not RGBW so in my case the white button doesn't do anything but if I had uh, a white element on my RGB strip then I could control that separately to the RGB. For me to get white I have to mix the uh, the colours the RGB uh, to get a sort of off-white uh, rather than a, a nice perfect white but it works for me. In the centre of the switch we have the power button which also acts as a mute button. A long press on that button will mute the tones. It does make some jolly little noises as you press the buttons. In fact you can, uh, my daughter found, play Frere Jacques on it for what that's worth. So uh, let's start stabbing at some of these buttons and see what effect it has. So we can turn the switch on and it will start from the last zone it, uh, it was on uh, with the last colour setting that was selected. It does have a memory and we can multiple select various zones. So here I have all four zones selected and if I make any alterations to the colour all four zones will match the, uh, be the same. I'm just going to be playing with zone one today because that's the one on camera and you can see that by swiping my finger over the colour wheel we can change the colour of zone one. Uh, accordingly or we can go back to white which is at the bottom of the zone, uh, bottom of the wheel there. Now white as I've said is made of the RGB elements and the RGB buttons at the bottom uh, can be used to dim those particular elements. So here I'm holding down the green button which is dimming the green light until it goes off completely leaving with just the red and the blue. So our white is no longer white with the green removed it becomes a kind of purple colour and if I hold that button down again then we restore the uh, green until it reaches full brightness again and gives us back our white colour. A single press of the red, green and blue will remove those elements completely from the selected light and uh, obviously if you take those colours out you have no light left and it goes off. So that's a way you can turn a particular zone off and by pushing the buttons again you can toggle those, um, those lighting elements, those channels, the DMX channels back on to restore the light to where it, uh, where it was. Holding down the dim button will allow us to dim the lights and they do go much dimmer than that. I probably should have held it down a bit longer. Uh, and we can restore it to its full brightness by um, holding it down again so it works as a, a toggle in that way. And of course you can do that with any colour selected. Pushing the program button will start switching us into programming mode. We've got seven colours to play with, red, green and blue. And after that comes a rather yellow colour, <laughs> followed by purple, cyan, and white. So they're the fixed colours that the controller is going to be playing with. A further push of the program button puts us into RGB skip mode. So it's just red, green and blue and it's obviously skipping between those colours and we can tap the brightener, the speed button to turn it into full nausea inducing mode or we can continue tapping it to cycle through to a uh, slower speed for uh, less headache inducing colour changing. The next program button will cycle through the seven colours we saw earlier 
and again if we really want to uh, annoy someone then we can turn that brightness right up in uh, that sorry that speed right up into full on rave mode or slow it back down again accordingly before we all have a fit a further push of the program button puts us into a smooth color change mode where it will cycle between all the colors of the uh, the RGB um, channels uh, but in a nice uniform way rather than it skipping through the different colors and again we can alter the speed of that by tapping the speed button here it's going uh, going quite slowly uh, and uh, we have a second um, color change smooth color change program uh, which introduces the white element as well and looks slightly different but again uh, you have those options uh, pushing the uh, program button again takes us back to the the red which is the start of the cycle and at any time we can override the programming by changing the uh, by swiping over the color wheel to select the color we want when we're finished a tap of the power button turns it off and leaves us with a blue light showing us uh, where the uh, the switch is for the next time we want to come along and uh, play with it And there you have it folks, the basic operation of the DX8 controller. It does, uh, I should say, also support wireless mode, so if you're installing this thing you can uh, install a wireless DMX receiver for it to talk to. I have it hardwired personally, but more information about the, uh, the technical aspects of the installation can be found on my website or on the, uh, the YouTube video of my RGB living room installation, should you want more information.